Hey, Motor Man here, and I've got probably the best accessory ever created for a Harley Davidson or even Indian motorcycle. And they're called motorcycle drop guards. Now take a look at these. Strange looking, they come in a stainless steel, which just looks just like uh, chrome or this powder coated in black so if you've got black crash bars you want to get the black ones what these do is they go on your crash bars on front rear and also under the primary on the Harley Davidson because if you drop your motorcycle on the left side on a Harley Davidson is a good chance you're going to scratch the bottom of the primary now if you're worried this is by the way for all these people for years have been saying I'd love to take some training but the only reason I don't is because I don't want to drop my bike well that excuse has now disappeared with the motorcycle drop guards because if you put these on your motorcycle front and rear and also on the primary cover nothing can happen to the bike you can drop it up to about 15 or 20 miles per hour and take a look at this this is 3 8 inch steel you will never wear these out I mean even if you're the worst doofus rider in history and you drop your bike a thousand times you are not going to wear these out and I'm going to show you the stainless steel ones right now now here they are mounted on the motorcycle and these are the stainless steel looks just like chrome can't tell it from chrome Here is the all-important primary cover. If you scratch this primary cover or you bend it and a leak starts, you're talking about 500 bucks to replace this. And here's the back one. To install these takes about 20 minutes and all you're gonna need is a 9 16 wrench, a five 30 seconds Allen wrench. In fact, you'll need two 5 30 seconds Allen wrenches and a 3 16 Allen wrench. Common tools you probably already have in your garage. Also, inside is a rubber piece here that's oh, probably an eighth inch thick, so there, you don't have to worry about scratching the crash bars when you bolt these on. That's on every piece here, front and rear. Next thing we're going to do is show you exactly how these go on. Step number one, got to take the bag off. It's going to make things so much easier. You should know how to do this. We're going to start with the front guards. Drop them in and put the bolts on and lock washers. want to tighten these in a cross pattern. And with the last bolt snugged up, we'll be moving to the rear. Once you get the drop guard in place in the rear, you want to use the two Allen wrenches and simply tighten it up. Once again, in a cross pattern. Next thing to do is lay the motorcycle over and test them to make sure that no part, no chrome is actually touching the ground. Looks good here. And looks good here. In the front, nothing is touching except for the drop guard and that's exactly the way it should be. In the back, the exact same thing. The motorcycle drop drop guards protect the motorcycle completely. Now we'll move to the other side. The installation is going to be the same except we're going to also use the primary protector. These are the two Allen bolts you need to take out. One in the front, one in the back. Once these two bolts are tightened, you're done with the primary cover. All right, the same thing as the other side. We've got the front on, tightened up. I'm not sure if you could see this on camera, but since this bike had been dropped, and it's not to where it's wearing through the bar yet, but I would say two or three more drops and it would wear right through. But you can see where this scratch is. So it's right at the top of the curve where you want to put the motorcycle drop guard because that's the area where it's going to hit that's the area you want to protect 
All right, the rear guard is on. The primary. And the front guard installation is complete. I'm saying 30 minutes probably to do the complete installation. So by now, I'm sure you're going to think, where do I get these at? Well, it's MotorcycleDropGuards.com, and you can get the stainless steel like you see here, or the black ones that we just showed you. Like I said, if you've got the black crash bars, I'd probably get to go with the black ones. These are less noticeable, the stainless steel on chrome bars, of course, and it'll be the same way with the black ones on black bars. And the cost? Well, it's $285 less than half of what it would cost you to replace your crash guards and your primary cover. And if you mention RLAP10 on the order form at Motorcycle Drop Guards, that stands for Ride Like a Pro, that's RLAP10, you're going to save 10 bucks. This is a terrific accessory for your bike. It will take, if you give you complete peace of mind, if you drop your motorcycle, and that's your main worry about damaging the bike, this takes all the worry away. And I'm going to show you a couple of drops from the inventor of the motorcycle drop guards. Hi, it's Jay with MotorcycleDropGuards.com. We're here today, we're going to make a video to show you how well the motorcycle drop guards protect your motorcycles in case of a drop or if you choose to go out and practice your slow speed skills. We have the drop guards on the highway bar, the primary cover, and the saddlebag bar. See the bike kind of drug on the cement a little bit. You can see where the scrape marks are. That would be damage to your highway bars, your saddlebag bars, and your primary cover. That primary cover is about $400 to $450, not counting your labor time at $100, $125 an hour. Same as with the highway bars and the saddlebag bars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get down and show you how the bike is completely off the ground. No part of the bike is touching the ground at this point. With the motorcycle drop guards installed, no part of the motorcycle is damaged. Not the front guard, not the rear guard, not the primary, nothing. The motorcycle drop guards take all the abuse. That's what they were designed to do. It completely takes away your fear of dropping your motorcycle and damaging it. This is the best thing to come along in years.